Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today I got a foundation and concealer wear test, first impression for you all. So I know you guys are kind of looking like, what in the hell, why is she coming on like that? But you guys, I am in the middle of another video, so I thought, why not just break the content up and make it a little bit more fun and give you guys something to look on to. So if you guys want to see this all look, I will have it linked up and down below in this video. Today, we're going to be doing a first impression slash wear test on the new All May foundation. This is the All May Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation and I do have the shade 250 Warm Almond. And we also have the All May Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. This is new as well and I do have the shade 220 Deep. We're going to be testing out these products to see how they wear and what's my thought on them. So if you guys have been following me here on my channel, then you have seen that I just hauled these not too long ago in a drugstore haul. And they are new to my Walmart when I found it. So I decided, you know, give Ame another shot because Ame has never been brown girl friendly. So I decided that I wanted to test it out today and see how I feel about it. I also have the All May Healthy Hue Blush in 400 Wildberry. So we're going to just do our face routine the normal way and see how she applies and see how I feel about it. Now I've already moisturized with the Clean and Clear Watermelon Gel Moisturizer. It's very lightweight but silicone-y like it smooths everything out. She feels like silicone but she actually melts into your skin and make your skin feel really smooth and soft. So I am going to take the Wet n Wild Matte Face Primer and go ahead and prime my face. And I am going to give a disclaimer while doing this video. I do have neighbors outside talking and, you know, communicating with each other and, you know, having a little fun. But there's no perfect time for me to film my content. So we're going to go ahead and dip off into the Ame foundation. I don't like that there's not a pump, but I'm hoping that this is my skin tone. It says it's for all skin types and it's oil free and fragrant free. It's a thick foundation, so that's good. I don't know how much is too much. I don't know how little is too little, but this is what she looks like. She barely has a run to it. I'm going to use my Real Techniques beauty sponge and I'm just going to pick up some. And we're gonna start on this side of the face. And you guys know my ultimate test is my freckles and moles on my face and you could barely see them. She is really mad. So before I even do the other side of my face, I quickly want to go ahead and put on the concealer. And I'm only doing this for the thumbnail, of course. I want to put the concealer on this side and show the difference in what it's looking like with and without. So. Hopefully, if you guys are still watching, y'all caught this part in the video. We're just putting it on. She's very creamy, but I feel like she's going to blend out to almost nothing. And that's just my first impression on it. 
and as you could tell from when I first showed you guys the concealer to now, she did pick up a little bit of that foundation. As I'm sitting here talking, you guys, I see her oxidizing quite a bit versus this side. Look at that. This shade right here is good. This shade is dark. I wonder if Amazon sells the universal pumps that go on to different foundations. I'm going to have to look that up or if you guys know, let me know down below because I really prefer my foundations to have a pump or a squeezy tube because it makes it more easier and less waste of a product. All right, so I'm back and I'm just going to take this end of my Real Techniques and we're going to go ahead and blend out this side. I may pull in my Pineapple Too Faced mirror to make its appearance just to get a close-up look because y'all know your girl is blind. So we're going to go ahead and blend out and we're going to start down here. But something I can tell y'all so far already is even though the concealer is a creamy concealer she kind of look like she's melting i don't know if you guys could see that but she kind of look like she's melting you can even see it on this side so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but i've never really seen a concealer do that and you know what you guys she may be just full coverage this is a damp beauty sponge, of course. I never blend out my face without it being damp. But you guys, it seems like she's basically stuck in place. This may be a damn good concealer after all. <laughs> and you know what else may help if you guys spray your face with a hydrating spray? to help move her around. I wanna get close so you guys can see what the concealer is looking like. See, the, con the concealer still feels tacky, but the foundation feels dry, like I never put anything on. All right, you guys, this is the finished look to the <laughs> Almay foundation as well as concealer. 
and the blush but let's talk about these products so really quickly let's talk about the blush i really like the blush i feel like you could do a wash of color with this blush or you could build it up to be as pigmented as you would like i think wildberry is a pretty pretty color and it comes off more pigmented on the hand in a swatch than it is on the face but i did use a fluffy brush to do so and i think it gave me just that wash of color i was looking for i didn't want to do too much because of the eyes is already doing a lot and i knew i wanted to keep it a nude look so therefore i think this blush played out really good i want to play around with it some more and as well as go and find some other blushes by Ame that i feel like will match my skin tone I think Ame came back with a banger when they made this blush. It actually matches my skin tone and don't make me look ashy or gray or anything. So I'm excited about that. Now moving on to the concealer. You guys, I am here to say that I really think I like this concealer. I think I really like the fact that it is full coverage. It doesn't budge and the color does not wear off. Like the color payoff stayed just right there. And I gave you guys that close up to see exactly what I meant by that. And hopefully you guys see what I'm talking about. This is a really creamy, thick coverage concealer. And I know I wanna play around with this some more and use it a lot more than just today. And let's talk about this foundation. The only con I have to this foundation is that it oxidized way too dark for your girl. She is like two shades deeper than what my actual skin is. So, as you can tell from here to here, that's two different colors. But on a brighter side, this foundation feels like powder on my face. Once this foundation dried down, it feel like powder. It feels like nothing is there. It is a matte foundation, but it's not that dry matte to where it sucks your face in to where you can't move your face or feel free. It doesn't feel heavy. It actually literally feels like powder. Like I just put my pressed powder on and it is a full coverage pressed powder. So I cannot complain about that. And it actually does blend very well with the concealer. So that is it, you guys, for this foundation and concealer and blush wear test and first impressions. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you're going to go pick up any, any of these three products or if you already picked them up. And if you have tried it already, let me know your thoughts down below when it comes down to the oxidizing and things like that. So that is it. If I can remember to give you guys a end of the night check-in i will do that if not like i said check down below and in the words of my loyal subscriber y'all keep shining and i will catch y'all in the next one deuces <laughs>